This is Marina. Today I'm going to explain why the narcissist needs you to be needy, desperate and broken. They need this because then you are operating at the lowest version of yourself. This means that they have control over you, meaning that you are trapped while they are out doing exactly what it is that they want to do. It means that you will not go forward, you will not rise above them. They don't like it when their partners glow more than them. This is a big no-no in narcissistic love. That it's the narcissist that must shine. They are not proud of their partners. They don't see what their partners are doing as anything that is even worthwhile commenting about. That's whether the partner is, you know, doing as anything like keeping house or uh, working, but whatever they're doing, they don't want them to glow any higher than them. So they need you needy. Now, this is also really important because while they're out there smearing your name in the relationship, they'll say things like, he or she's just hysterical, or they, uh, you know, they're never happy. I can never make them happy. I'm always trying to do the right thing. They also need you needy and desperate so that you won't leave them. And if you do leave them and you're still needy and desperate, then they do hoovers and check-ins just to make sure that you stay that way because that makes them feel more secure. In my practice as a psychotherapist, I can't tell you how many times I have seen people who began these journeys, um, these um, uh, love journeys with narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, dark triads. I mean, they're out there. It's a continuum, right? Lower to higher. And it doesn't matter. Even if these people are presenting on the lower continuum, they still do damage. And people have, uh, these people who are presenting to me as needy, broken, desperate for the love back, they they're actually very confident people where they were. Their natural state is one of confidence. They're quite capable, responsible, and yet here they find themselves in this hole, this dark, dark rabbit hole. And my job and what I do with people is help them to find that light very fast. That's what you have to do. Remember there is light, but you have to keep going until you find it but don't give up. That's the most important thing. And don't see it as uh, normal. It may be normal, but you don't have to keep it that way because it's not part of our natural state. That's all for now. And if I can help you in any way, please reach out. Bye.